Canadian goldenrod is an herbaceous perennial plant of the family Asteraceae, Aster family, native to northeastern and north central North America but established as an invasive plant in many other regions. Some other popular common names of the herb are Canada goldenrod, giant goldenrod, tall goldenrod, common goldenrod, shorthair goldenrod, Hodges goldenrod and rough Canada goldenrod. The herb can be found in a variety of habitats, although it is not shade tolerant. It typically is one of the first plants to colonize an area after disturbance and rarely continues once shrubs and trees become established. It is found neither in very dry locations nor in waterlogged ones. Scientific name of goldenrod, Solidago, originates from Latin word solidare which means to make whole. Name refers to the fact that goldenrod has excellent potential to heal the wounds. This plant is also known as woundvert. The canadensis part of its name comes from the plant being first identified in Canada. Goldenrods are attractive to bees and butterflies. Goldenrods have been wrongfully accused of causing hay fever which is actually an allergic reaction to wind-borne pollen from other plants such as ragweed. It is often grown as an ornamental in flower gardens. Canadian goldenrod is an erect, rhizomatous, herbaceous perennial plant that grows about 6 feet, 1.8 meters, tall. The plant is found growing in disturbed areas of moist to dry prairies, openings in floodplain and upland forests, in frequently grazed pastures, thickets, savannas, tall grass prairies, limestone glades and gravel seeps. In more developed areas, it occurs in cultivated and abandoned fields, vacant lots, power line clearance areas, and along fences, roadsides, and railroads. It can tolerate a fairly wide range of soil fertility and texture conditions, but is typically found in fairly moist soils. It is not found on waterlogged sites and is found only rarely on very dry sites. The plant's extensive root system is very deep and fibrous with 2 to 5 inch long rhizomes, horizontal underground stems, emerging at the base of aerial stems. The rhizome is cylindrical, noded, diagonally ascending and short. Stem is erect, cane-like, leafy, mostly unbranched, slender, hairless in the lower half, and have small soft hairs in upper half below the flowers. They are usually red tinge beneath, and glabrous to loosely oppressed pubescent higher up. Leaves are alternate along the stem and lance shaped with sharp teeth around the edge. They are hairless on the upper surface, and hairy beneath especially on the veins. Leaves are described as being three-nerved, meaning the midrib and two parallel lateral veins are prominent. Basal leaves form but falls off early leaving only stem leaves that are all nearly the same size. Leaves lack stalks, so bases attach directly to the stem. Flower heads form in dense, elongated, pyramid-shaped clusters. Each flower head consists of 9 to 17 yellow ray flowers surrounding fewer than 10 yellow disc flowers. Flower heads are less than 1 8th inch wide. The ray florets are narrow, lingual and female. The disc florets are funnel-shaped, five-tipped and androgynous. The fruit is an acorn, which is cylindrical with numerous ribs. It is brown, sparsely pubescent and 3.5 to 4.5 mm long with a tuft of hair which facilitate wind-induced dispersal of seed. The herb is sometimes browsed by deer and is good to fare as food for domestic livestock such as cattle or horses. Please like share and subscribe.